Magnesium explained, your complete guide to its benefits magnesium is too important for you not to know about it. It is the fourth most abundant mineral in your body and participates in over 600 metabolic reactions. There are two things I want you to know. First, at least 50% of the population is deficient in it. Second, this deficiency is the cause of muscle pain, headaches, migraines, painful menstrual cycles in women, depression, fatigue, constipation, diabetes, and insulin resistance. You might realize how important it is, it could be the reason for the ailments you suffer from. If you like the video and want to help us continue creating interesting content, we kindly ask you to consider the idea of subscribing to our channel and making a donation to support us. Your support is precious to us and will allow us to continue growing and improving our channel. You can do it here below, through the appropriate buttons, subscribe, and, thanks. But even if you feel well and have no issues, stay until the end of the video because I will reveal which foods have the highest magnesium content that you can include in your diet to never have deficiency problems. Magnesium deficiency is one of the most common problems worldwide, especially in the Western diet. There are many possible causes and interpretations. On one hand, the soil is becoming increasingly depleted, and agricultural techniques make foods contain fewer minerals, which can certainly be one of the main reasons for magnesium deficiency. On the other hand, there are also your choices and modifiable factors, depending on what you put on your plate. Having sufficient magnesium is essential for your body's functionality, but unfortunately, it is difficult to measure medically because the level in the blood is only 1% of all the magnesium in the body. Therefore, the doctor sometimes cannot tell you if you have a deficiency or if you have enough in your body. Magnesium is concentrated in the bones but is present in every cell. One of its most important roles is being a cofactor, an essential element in metabolism. To better understand, imagine your body as a house and enzymes as the masons. These masons need bricks, proteins, and cement to put the bricks together and form the walls. Magnesium is that cement, that initial cofactor for many organic functions. Indeed, magnesium is necessary for creating energy and forming ATP, for protein formation, and for creating and repairing DNA and RNA, making it very useful for preventing aging. It is essential for muscle movements, we are muscles from the heart to the lungs to the legs. Every movement needs the correct amount of magnesium to function properly. And finally, it regulates the nervous system because it participates in the formation of neurotransmitters, those small molecules between one neuron and another that allow exchanges and communication between parts of your brain. Why are we deficient in the Western world? The main reason is obviously diet. We eat too little fruit and vegetables. You might be wondering, Gianluca, aren't you exaggerating? It's impossible for the entire population to have a deficiency. Yet the data is clear and alarming, and the reasons are simple. On one hand, there are non-modifiable reasons like genetics, perhaps because people with kidney problems or those taking drugs like omeprazole, a gastroprotective agent, consume more magnesium, leaving a deficit, or because the kidney excretes it without retaining it sufficiently. But then there are also modifiable factors that depend on your will, and obviously, I'm talking about diet, eating the right foods, and excessive alcohol consumption, which does not mean being alcoholics but having a daily habit of drinking a beer, a bitter drink, or a glass of wine, which can also reduce your magnesium reserves in this case. But let's see why it is so important. Let's delve into its effects if you have a deficiency. Starting with the amount of magnesium in your body, physical exercise, and muscle contraction, your muscle needs calcium and magnesium in a stable ratio to function perfectly. Calcium stimulates the muscle to contract, and magnesium relaxes it. What happens if your muscles contract and contract more and more and have difficulty relaxing? You suffer from cramps, fatigue, constant tension, and have trouble recovering from exertion. Your body takes much longer to rehabilitate after an injury. The interesting thing is that in studies where a magnesium supplement was given to young and elderly athletes, 
all three categories showed improvements in physical performance, from the simplest, such as an elderly person being able to stand up from a chair 10 times in a row instead of 3 times, to the athlete having a 10-15% better performance than the day before when they did not take the supplement. This is because, on one hand, magnesium allows sugar in your blood to enter the cells, acting as a mediator. On the other hand, magnesium is essential in athletes, especially during exertion, because it facilitates the elimination of lactic acid. And what is the most important muscle in your body? Obviously, the heart, and that is why having the right amount of magnesium in the body is essential for the health of your heart. For this reason, I want you to be particularly attentive if you are one of the many people worldwide who may have cardiovascular system problems. You might have arrhythmias, high blood pressure, many small disturbances, or an increased risk of a heart attack. Consuming magnesium and eating many magnesium-rich foods could cure this problem definitively. As I told you before, magnesium is essential for relaxing the muscle, and when I talk about the heart, I also mean the entire cardiovascular system. So, on one hand, the heart has the ability to contract but also to relax, and if it contracts too much, you will suffer from arrhythmias. On the other hand, I am also talking about the blood vessels, which also have the ability to contract or relax. If they are always contracted, you will obviously suffer from hypertension because your body is not able to relax, and your blood vessels are not able to widen. This is the main cause of high blood pressure. If you want more advice on how to lower your blood pressure, I refer you to a video I made, which you can find by clicking here at the top left. But now let's talk about another fundamental aspect of the interaction between magnesium and your body at the cerebral level. Magnesium is also essential for communication between one neuron and another. It is precisely at the level where one neuron needs to communicate information to another neuron that magnesium interacts. And even at the cerebral level, magnesium is an inhibitor, it decreases cerebral function. You might say, why do I need to decrease cerebral function? Because at the level of homeostasis, at the level of health, there are moments when you need to be active and moments when you need to be relaxed. If you are always active, it means hypertension, heart attacks, stress, and not being able to sleep. You need a balance. You need to have activity but also relaxation, and magnesium and the right amount of magnesium in your body are essential for this. Indeed, there are three main areas where magnesium is very useful, and supplementing it can have benefits. The first, perhaps the most important of all those I am discussing in this video, is sleep. A magnesium supplement, the correct amount of magnesium, improves the quality and quantity of sleep, and sleep is life. Sleep is essential. It is necessary for learning, for memorizing, for recovering from injuries, for everything. If you do not sleep well, if you do not sleep with adequate quality, you will only have problems. And if you suffer from migraines. The studies are clear. In people who suffer from migraines, a magnesium supplement is more effective than medication. This is also true for depression. Today, there is a direct correlation between magnesium deficiency and depression, magnesium deficiency and inadequate brain function. Supplementing with magnesium has benefits equal to medication even in depression. But now let's talk about one of the most common problems that perhaps you are also suffering from. The problem of diabetes, insulin resistance, excess visceral fat, and all the problems related to being overweight that can affect your daily life. There is a direct relationship. It is not yet understood how, but the studies are clear. Having a magnesium deficiency means increasing the risk of diabetes, insulin resistance, and excess visceral fat. As I said before, magnesium is essential for sugar to pass into the cells and this is called insulin sensitivity, which is essential for your health, for you to lose weight. Yes, you can eat carbohydrates, sugary things, but if your body is capable of moving them from the blood into the cells, then you can also burn them. The problem is when you eat them and you shouldn't, but when you eat them and that sugar stays in the blood, stays in circulation, that's when you suffer the consequences that we all fear, the consequences that are heard in diabetics, diabetic foot, vision difficulties, Everything because this sugar that remains in circulation goes to damage the nerves, goes to damage the structures that are not used to managing it. 
Magnesium has three very important benefits regarding diabetes and insulin resistance. The first is that those who have an adequate amount have a much lower risk of having these problems. The second is that those who already suffer from diabetes, if they supplement with magnesium, have a reduction in blood sugar and a reduction in glycated hemoglobin. The third is that those who have the right amounts of magnesium metabolize fats better, so they have a lowering of triglycerides and a better ratio between HDL and LDL. If you are curious to know how to further reduce your triglycerides in the blood, I recommend you go watch a video where I discuss all these things in detail. You can find it by clicking here at the top. And finally, let's do a quick overview of magnesium and its interaction with vitamin D today, we know that many people also have problems with vitamin D but what happens when you supplement with vitamin D? Vitamin D, to be assimilated, processed, and functional, needs magnesium. And that is why supplementing with vitamin D can lead to a subsequent magnesium deficiency. It is therefore useful, if you are taking vitamin D supplements, to also think about magnesium because supplementing with one could reduce the other. But what is the best choice? Do we need a shelf full of supplements? Have we gone from drugs to supplements? Probably the best choice instead is to consume these substances through diet, through foods. For magnesium and vitamin D, we undoubtedly have them through exposure to the sun. Which are the most important foods, and why are they better than supplements? Today, we have clear ideas about supplements, they do not have the same effect as foods. Sometimes studies give us positive hopes, yes, look, I gave magnesium supplements, and the person had benefits. But when you go deeper, you see that the results are not that impressive, and the supplement is not effective. The reason is that we cannot break down foods into many small elements because each food is unique, and magnesium is assimilated when it is also accompanied by fibers, when it is processed within everything that is the food, and therefore your body knows how to assimilate it better. For this reason, you can certainly keep a magnesium supplement in mind, perhaps for an emergency situation if you have migraines, if you suffer from insomnia, if you have temporary situations to resolve. But in the long run, absolutely rely on diet because it is the only true cure, not so much a cure but a prevention. And where can you find many sources of magnesium? Let's see them together. There are pumpkin seeds, spinach, chard, cocoa, excellent, not chocolate, 99% cocoa or 99% chocolate, yes, that is rich in magnesium, almonds, black beans, quinoa. In the animal world, you can find it in small quantities in salmon and mackerel or in shellfish. As you can see, most of this mineral is found in cereals, vegetables, and fruits. That is why you should fill your house with colors, fill your house with green because you will have magnesium, you will have vitamins, you will have minerals, you will have fibers, you will have everything you need for lasting health, for healthy health. Let us know about your practical experience regarding today's topic by writing it in the comments. And do not hesitate to ask questions, we will respond to the best of our ability. Do not forget to share your opinion with us and leave a comment. If you also leave a like, it would be great, subscribe so you don't miss the next video.